All right, guys, we've got a Tuesday morning editorial for you. Got one for you. You're going to like this one. Oh, you're going to like it. You're going to like it, man. Or maybe you won't. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments section below. I'm going to put a link to this full story in the description box below. And it's another police officer that kind of gets it. Well, you know what? We're not going to be too hard on you. And maybe they didn't have the charge. <clears throat> I don't know. I kind of see. But my question is why the guy's not in jail or prison. Going to Maryland. Thank you, NBC Washington. NBC Washington, thank you for this story. Out of Maryland, a judge dropped a first-degree rape charge against a former Maryland police officer accused of offering to release a woman from custody in exchange for sex. The judge also released former Fairmount Heights police officer Martique Vanderpool to home detention and ankle monitoring. He is charged with second-degree rape, second-degree assault, and related charges. Martique and another officer conducted a traffic stop of the 19-year-old woman about 11.20 p.m. September 6th, police said. Vanderpool asked to see the woman's driver's license, which she didn't have, so he called for a tow truck to impound the car, put the woman in handcuffs, and took her to the police station, according to charging documents. When Vanderpool allegedly offered to release the woman in exchange for sex, she unwillingly complied, according to charging documents. Vanderpool issued her several citations and drove her to the impound lot to get her car back, according to charging documents. Fairmount Heights Police Chief Stephen Watkins said the woman never should have been taken to the police station because it doesn't have a holding facility. Watkins contacted Prince George's County Police to investigate. Vanderpool resigned from the department in November and was arrested December 2nd. Vanderpool's attorney denied the crime happened. The crime probably did happen. But here's the thing that didn't get him for first degree rape. And I'm thinking because, uh, let me scroll up here. He dropped the first degree rape charge. And I'm thinking probably because there was no actual sexual contact uh, that they couldn't get rape there. Uh, so they had to go with second degree and second degree on those charges. But my question is why he was released to go home on ankle monitoring for the he should be in jail waiting on trial. Right. Um, or is that his sentence? Because it doesn't really say he's going to trial. Well, he has an attorney. So maybe there is a, a pretrial coming up. But he was released to home detention and ankle monitoring. I don't think I don't know if that's a sentencing. Um, I don't, I wish I had more time to go through this, but uh, I went through like three or four different media outlets to read this story, and they're all saying the same thing. So I don't see where he's going to where there's a, a pretrial set or anything like that. But the end question here again, back to the basic question: Why isn't he incarcerated? Why isn't he out? On a, or at least a bond. Why wasn't a bond set? No, the judge released him to home detention and ankle monitoring. So he gets to sit at home, watch TV all day, and eat food with an ankle bracelet. I mean, nobody wants to be on ankle monitoring, but the guy gets to sit home all day, and, and you know, he's a former police officer. Maybe he's collecting unemployment or food stamps. I don't know. Maybe he's got SNAP benefits. You guys let me know. This just really, something doesn't sit right with me on this one. This is a cop, I believe, who the judge said, you know, I'm going to give you a break. You were a cop. You have a hard job, man. And who's this freaking attorney that's saying it never happened? Yeah. Probably some egotistical bastard. Let me know, guys. Community Leo Watch. That's law enforcement officers that I'm watching throughout the community, including Maryland. Thank you. Happy Tuesday. More editorials coming this week. Gotta run.